I'm Becca. I'm the owner of Citadel Speech and Language Services. We provide uh, private speech and language therapy, uh, typically to uh, pediatrics, so with children. We provide in-person services to families uh, either in their home or in daycare, preschool, or sometimes even in schools. I'm also the president for Speech and Hearing BC, and uh, I do work uh, advocating for better access to services. So we have a program that allows our team members to give a portion of the company's revenue uh, to organizations of their choosing. So they get to choose what the organization is, and then I will donate on their behalf. We strive to have everyone really live their best life. But we also want our team to be well-rounded individuals, people who are physically and mentally healthy, and so we encourage them to pursue their interests both in and outside of the field. My name's Chloe Goodison. I started an organization called Nalat's Home two years ago in an effort to address BC's ongoing overdose crisis, which, um, if you didn't know, started in April 2016 after people were were dying and people are still dying of um, toxic drugs. So people use drugs for all sorts of reasons, whether it's uh, to cope or to feel good or because they're dependent on them. And it's not it's not okay that people are, are dying because of fentanyl and benzos that are laced into um, the drugs that are circulating. Um, so in an effort to address this crisis, I've developed a team of 40 youth from the Tri-Cities and we're providing education, widespread, low barrier, easily accessible to um, all different classrooms and community groups and organizations who want to learn how to make a difference with the overdose crisis and how to save a life in the instance that you come across an overdose. I'm Paige Petru and I'm the founder and owner of Spotlight Events. We are a full service event planning and design company creating unique experiences and fun vibes across the greater Vancouver area. We really value the working relationships and collaboration that we form with our clients over the process of planning their event. Being active in the local community has always been really important to me. Anytime I get the opportunity to work with other friends and colleagues in the community, I'm always excited to take that on. Through Spotlight, I've had the opportunity to work with so many of the amazing not-for-profit organizations that we have here in the Tri-Cities, help them raise money for really important causes and programs. After many years of serving on different committees and as well on the Port Coquitlam Mayor Citizen Advisory Roundtable, I chose in 2022 to pursue a seat on the Port Coquitlam City Council. Fortunately, I was elected and I'm now serving my first term on Poco City Council.